How many of you have seen the movie Terminator? Or iRobot with Will Smith? Well, if you have seen either of those two, you might be familiar with a thing called artificial intelligence. Now, based on those movies, you might have a very negative and biased opinion about artificial intelligence, and would expect computers to take over one day and eradicate us all with no mercy. Well, that might just be the case. But before we go on, let's define what artificial intelligence is. Artificial intelligence, for short, AI, is the capability of a machine to reenact human behavior or intelligence. An example of this is Siri on an Apple device, or a character in a video game, or a robot-like death machine with no feelings. Over a hundred years ago, mankind marked the invention of what is now known as the modern car. Back then it was revolutionary and innovative. Fast forward to now and we have space shuttles that can go out into space and we think of it as no big deal. So from that perspective, just think about what will be possible within a hundred years from now. But let's talk about actual intelligence. William James Siddes is said to be the smartest man to have ever lived on planet Earth. He had an IQ of about 250 to 300, while the average person has an IQ of about 100. But the fact that makes that so scary is that we actually have no idea where intelligence ends or even begins. We know where our limits with intelligence have been with geniuses such as Nikola Tesla, Albert Einstein, or William James Siddes. But we have no idea how intelligence, as we know it, or how far it goes. That means that if we were to build a super intelligent AI which is much smarter than us, then it could start improving itself infinitely and eventually advance so far that there would be no way for us to stop it. So what should we expect of super intelligent AI? Sam Harris, a neuroscientist and philosopher, says that it's actually not possible to have any idea what to expect. Because the human race has never faced anything like super intelligent AI before. And basically we have no idea how it'll act, if, we'll, if it'll do positive things or negative things, but judging on current AI systems, it seems to work quite well. A recent example of an AI actually being much more superior to a human is Elon Musk's open AI. Elon Musk decided to step it up a bit, and instead of playing a human on a board game, which used to be the go-to, Elon Musk let his AI play a human in a video game. The video game he uh, chose was called Dota 2. And with over 30 decisions to be made every single second, it is one of the most well-respected games on Earth. With over 12,000 hours of experience, professional players are considered very good at the game. The AI got to a level above any human in just two weeks. The programmers gave it three standards to work with. Taking damage is bad, dealing damage is good, and improving is good. And with only these three demands to be met, the AI dis uh, decided to pretty much destroy anyone in its path, developing its own strategies throughout the process. This already seems quite powerful. But you could actually compare superintelligent AI to the nuclear bomb. The nuclear bomb was an invention which changed the act of war itself. Its effects are so devastating, and if all nuclear bombs today were to go off in one moment, it could cause the extinction of humanity. Some people would even say that the nuclear bomb was a negative breakthrough. Sure, in a weird way, it changed war as we know it with gas, inhumane brutality, and trenches. And of course, that doesn't mean AI is definitely going to kill us all and be dangerous, but who knows really. So, will superintelligent AI benefit the world? Perhaps, or perhaps not. But maybe someone in this very room right now can tell us all about it when they're working on a project like this in the future. So, let us make our future now, and let us make our dreams tomorrow's reality. Thank you.